Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of White Day. We finally cleared the new building, and we are in... Mystery building? I don't know. Another freaking building. Electra Hall. But what can we do with it? I don't know. Notes? Hazards. Please inform the administration when in use of the Electra Hall. Control the usage of the gas heater. There's a problem with the pressure of gas in the heater. Sounds quite dangerous, actually. National dry weather increases the risk of a fire hazard. Sure enough, we got a fire seal over there. This is going to be a bad one. Extinguisher is being replaced in the lecture hall. Type A in the southwest corner. B in the boys' changing rooms. Southwest corner, boys' changing rooms. Where is a map, please? Ugh. Well, at least we have our new handy dandy high power flashlight and a broken freaking <laughs> uh, plate. Mm hmm. So, southeast corner, boys' changing rooms. What kind of hazards do you think we're going to encounter? Other than, you know, fire. Right. Game's keeping this really easy for me. <laughs> Even I can't screw this up if I only have one way to go. I'm still not liking how eerily quiet it is, though. Okay! By the way, I really hope that I won't have to be unlocking all these. Oh, no, I want to go back here. Alright, upstairs it is. That's the amulet door. That's where I came in. Okay. Ugh, looks like freaking space out there. Music just stopped. Basketball court. Oh, and tennis net. That's right. It's a school gym. Of course it'd be multi-purpose. Whoa, a door that opens? Oh, hello. Oh, hello twice. Oh, game package. Steel Empire Taiwan version. How oddly specific. So it's just a bonus room. Here's a little bonus room. I don't know the rest of the lyrics, and I'm not singing on key either, so you probably won't know what reference I'm making, even though it barely counts as one. How about control room? We got sparklies. Oh, are you a map? You would be a lifesaver. Alright, how many floors are we talking here? Obviously two. Oh, thank God, it's just two floors. All right, what are you? It's a switch. I guess you could call it that. Lights. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Now for the live performance. Huh. I'll just go and get her. Oh, this loops back around. Oh, oh. <laughs> and yes, I know a different door opened. I'm still gonna check this one. Oh, hey. Oh. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Literally. Alright. Southeast corner of the lecture hall <clears throat> and the boys' changing rooms. Yeah, which door was it that opened, actually? Was it one of these? It had to be one of these. I need to get into the place. Leave it to me to get lost in a place where you have no options. Is it you, then? Yeah! Well, you're not southeast, but I'll check anyway. Can I read that? No. Whoa. 
Whoa. You must be the heater. Boiler, excuse me. Well, pressure thing. Okay. Oh, hey. Thank you. I always feel so much better in the light. And it really disturbs me that there's been no enemies or anything. Like, where are we going with this? And can I do anything? Oh, no. Don't tell me all these things operate independently. No, good. Hey! Somehow I don't think the game's gonna let me just take the seal. It's like, here you go, just get out now. Don't worry about it. Okay, main objective time. I'm waiting for some giant, like, ogre to- what? Because the room's so big- oh! Oh! You bitch! I mean, I know I couldn't kill you. <laughs> My god, she's a vengeful spirit. Just don't chase me. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Is she actually gonna chase me? Which way do I go? Ow. Oh dear. Ow. What? Where do I go? There's nowhere to go. I have to dodge by her. Ow. Ow. There's like no right way to go. Well, I'm dead then, I guess. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Okay. Well, there's only one thing I can do, so I know how to resolve this real quick. I guess I have to find a, a way to navigate this place. Okay, uh, I cut out a lot. This is like my sixth attempt. And believe me, you don't want to see me run around in circles a hundred times. So I'm going to make this efficient. I didn't actually accomplish much in the uh, the first attempt, so I'm just gonna cut to the chase here. Got the map. Got the switch. Run down the stairs and around. Goody. First room. And now we activate the fire puzzle. Because that's kind of what it is. Turn my ass around. Ow. Run to the changing room. Grab myself a fire extinguisher type B, which is for oil fires. And wouldn't you know it, there happens to Ow be one. Okay. Lord. That could have been me. Right. Excuse me, lady. Alright, oil related fire, which is this way. Ow. Spray, 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 spray. Before the woman catches up to me. Please, please, please. Good. Now, she can't follow me past fire points, which is very good. So I will quickly heal. Now I need to go and, uh, Get some outside assistance. There she is. The benevolent ghost. Ow. Ow. Thanks, lady. This is for wood fires. And yes, I see her coming. Give me a second. There we go. Common fires. Like this one. Let's hope she doesn't stab me while I'm doing this. Please. Please. Good. Very good. This room is useless. Also, I'm about to die, apparently. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Okay. So if that was no good, what about this? 
Yes, this is what I want. Type C fire extinguisher, which is for electrical fires. Hmm. Otherwise, I don't think there's anything to do here. Oh, I could open this? I'll come back to this later. See, this is where I fixed the pressure, but I don't have the valve for it, so I need to come back. As you can see, I'm on a timer here, the pressure gauge on the upper right. So I need to go back to the fire I put out in the northern door. There. Ow. Now, one of these doors, this one's no good. This? That's not the right kind of fire. This is the right kind of fire. Electrical. You kind of just have to know what you're doing. Though. Like, I, I died a bunch of times trying to get this right. There. There's my valve. Mm-hmm. Southeastern room of the lecture hall, floor one. How specific. So if I hadn't... Ow. If I hadn't discovered that at first, then this would have helped me out. Ow. Ow. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my God. <laughs> wow. You can't do anything with this building. No. Yes. No. Go ahead and heal. Because I still hear her laughing. Ah, oh, we might be good. We might. Yeah! What a pain in the ass. Man, this place looks like hell. Well, less than it did a second ago. Is the ghost still there, just like disappointed? Like, well, shucks, he got me. Yeah, she is, actually. Does that mean she's finally done with? <laughs> Curious. And just like before, the body's still here. It's so weird when they do that, because, like, I saw her die last time. Fire extinguishers are out of my inventory, which is really a good thing. Uh, I guess I just have to go back upstairs and turn the lights off so I can get the seal, which is really stupid. I think. Is that, is that the case? Do I have to do that? Oh. You didn't talk last time. This is like the, this is like the shortest trip to the amulets ever. Oh, general. This was by far the quickest trip to the amulet. Did they seriously unequip me again? Uh, I'm getting sick of that. Ba Boom. Can I open you? Honestly, I'm not surprised, but I just thought I'd check. Whatever, I got my amulet. I can get the hell out of here. So I don't even need to hit the lights. I think when it meant, I think when it said you need to put the lights out, I think it meant you need to put the fire out. That might have been a bit of a awkward translation there. 
Whatever, time to go. I just hope nothing jumps me on the way out, you know? Oh, that's right, there was that one game package. I might as well grab that if I can. Where was it? It was, it was in one of those, uh... It might have been at the end of the hallway, actually. In the little dead end room. My heartbeat's starting to go up, too. Ah, oh, come on. Where's the little storage room? I want the game package. I also kind of want this laughter to go away. Oh, perhaps the game package was upstairs? Just listen to this mocking laughter. God damn. This is where I exit. I'll head up the vending machine shortly. But I want whatever was uh, in that dead end. If I, if I don't find the dead end room, if it's not like this door, then screw it. My, mem my memory's flaking and it doesn't really matter that much anyway. Oh, <laughs> problem solved. Yay, four packages, and I'm at like toward the end of the game, so clearly I'm not getting all ten. God knows what happens if I do. Oh well. You know what? The hell? Oh, I think there's just a game flaking on me. Alright. Jeez, look at that shake because of my heartbeat. It's ridiculous. You know, I really should just make use of these. Shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? I've been hoarding these for I've been hoarding these for too long. And the lunch boxes will drop through here. Thank you. You know, really, I haven't seen much of a difference between these things and the first aid kit, so I might as well just use these. Oops, I, I keep ducking prematurely. Ah, I did it again. I'm so bad at this. There it is. Last of my coins. On the other hand, I got an absurd amount of health items. Six. Plus the first aid kit. I think we're in good shape. Now. Four seals down. One to go. That sure shut him up, didn't it? What? What? Yeah, you better run. Purification complete. As per usual, am I right? Oh, it's great. The hell is this all about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just standing there like, uh, whoa. She's <laughs> pretty furious. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, please. Once again, I'll do it on a new save file. Whoa. What? What? <laughs> so much just happened. <laughs> Where are we? What is happening? <laughs> Uh. 
<laughs> I'm just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need that amulet. Whichever one that was. Was wind? <laughs> Sucks. Okay. Oh, right, the last amulet was like, what, electricity? Do I play? What? What is this like? What? So I guess I need to direct myself toward the amulet. This is not easy. I'm trying to use the radar, and well, so I'll come back. <laughs> In your freaking game? And the radar is barely useful because, like, where am I going? Uh, okay, I just got hit. This place is turning to hell, isn't it? Is this gonna be one of those things where I need to use, like, I hope I don't need to use the amulets in an order? That would really suck. See, so yeah, I got the water one. Oh, yeah, okay. Was this really just a singular dead end? No, it wasn't. Tricky, tricky. Claustrophobic. This is really hard to navigate. Where am I going? Ow. Well, I'm gonna die. Oh, it's just, it's just making me. I missed it. Hey, idiot, pull out the amulet. I'll just let it give the spirit what for. My god, where am I going? It is so hard to see. Where am I even going? And this really does have awesome atmosphere, but like, where am I going? Great. That's great. Pardon me for not being able to navigate everything looks the same land. You gotta forgive me that. Okay. Okay. You gotta forgive me that much. like no way out of this. Oh, that was close. I sure do hope I'm going the right way. 
son of a... I'm getting really sick of this. But once again, I'll say the atmosphere is glorious and a half. There are six pieces? No, there we go. No, there are six, what? Did I do it? We're not done? Oh god, my eyes. Oh my god, my eyes. Okay. Please tell me I at least get to start from there again. Oh, it gives me the try again option? I've never seen that. Alright, here goes nothing. I feel bad about not picking her up, but I have no goddamn choice. Hyacinth. Yeah, the endings are named after flowers, so I don't think this is the best ending. I think the best one is White Chrysanthemum, but we'll see what happens with this one. You know I would have gotten better if I'd saved the girl too, but I... The path collapses so quickly. Getting the hell out of there. <laughs> Ugh, that's not a very good ending. <laughs> wow. School still haunted. Game over. You win, I guess. That's kind of amazing. This is really cool. <laughs> The silhouette thing is a pretty cool way of handling this too.
I gotta say, the singing was throwing me off, but like, this the song is growing on me. <laughs> Sorrow, forgive me. We just get the hell out. And yeah, multiplayer code. Can you believe that? Apparently this game has some kind of multiplayer, but it's not available in this downloaded version, and I think that it just might have been lost forever. Like, just anyway. But, boy, that sure would be interesting, wouldn't it? Can I press anything? Yes, I can. I think we're back to the menu now. Yep. That was one intense goddamn game, and I gotta say, it kicked ass. Well, we've done it. We beat White Day, a labyrinth named School. That game was freaking scary. You know, I've been playing, I've been let's playing horror games, mostly horror games, for three years now. It's been over three years. I started on uh, February 14th, 2010. I've been doing this for a while. And I've been playing, just right off camera, horror games even longer than that since high school. I forgot what year Resident Evil Remake came out, but that's the first horror game I've played, so since then. So I must have been, I don't know, freshman or sophomore in high school maybe? I've been playing horror games for a while. And I have to say that, um, as far as my reactions have been, they're, they're, they're pretty much the same on camera as they are off. Not that you can see me, but I mean, as far as audibility goes, I, I like to think that I'm really pretty good at holding myself back when it comes to scary moments. Yes, I have uh, reacted to jump scare moments. You've heard me do it if you've been watching my stuff for a while. Um, I, I've, I've done stuff like, oh my god, you got me there. Or, actually, on a similar note, yeah, I've done that a few times. Like, oh, well done, Silent Hill 3. Like, well played, game. You got me good. Or even the uh, the ending of the first Dead Space. Major jump scare moment. And that really did get me good. Now, you couldn't see it, but I went like... But as far as hearing me went, I didn't make a sound. And I actually said after that happened, oh, yeah, that really did get me. Not that you would have known. White, White Day got me really damn good a few times. And, um, you know, I don't like it when I watch some videos like, I'll, I'll go with a, an easy one, the trending viral, when it had just come out, uh, the Slender videos, you know, when people would be playing those, I'd go like, oh my god, it's so scary, anytime the monster would come out. Like, those, those bug me because those people are filming those for their reactions. So, I don't do that, especially not on purpose. I will tell you, I actually like yelped. I think once, uh, when the when I was running away from the crawl, the ceiling monster, that the, those were legitimate reactions. Even in the the first installment, when the ghost was making that weird sound and like appearing, disappearing, appearing, disappearing by the door, and I'm like, oh my god, she's by the door. Do you see it? Do you see it? Da, 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 da. Like that sound. Like in retrospect, yeah, that's pretty irritating. But that actually was a genuine reaction from me. And that doesn't happen. Like, this is my 49th freaking Let's Play. That doesn't happen. And it happened repeatedly. Not not the shrieking, but the over-the-top kind of stuff like that. That 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 is quite a feat. Congratulations, Korea. You are, you are rivaling and possibly even surpassing the Fatal Frame games in terms of horror value. And I never thought I'd say that, because that's, that's a high bar. This game pulled it off. It's not like it had the greatest enemy variety, but the enemies it did have, it really, really handles very well. Very, very well. Oh my god, that ceiling monster by itself was just that, that's it. We got the game. That's all you need. 
the giant baby in the room, once you realize it won't chase you, it's a bit different. But when it comes out, you're like, what the hell, man? Uh, even the janitor. It was really cool. You know, I know it makes sense for a janitor to do this, turn off the lights when you're done, shut the doors. But the game was made in 2000, I think, like, officially released in 2001 or something like that. It came out one of those two years. I didn't think they would have programmed in, in a game that old, um, the janitor turning off the lights and stuff like that. And one thing I didn't show you, I had recorded this in my first attempt at the game, but then I think I died or something and the recording was wasted or something like that. But at one point, the janitor was chasing me uh, and he followed me into the bathroom because I wasn't very far ahead of him. So I was like, well, he's going to find me. So I hid in a stall and shut the door behind me. And what I noticed was uh, I peeked open once I heard he'd enter the room and he clearly hadn't found me yet. He was actually opening and checking each stall and going down the line. That was freaking crazy. I know the janitor got just plain irritating later in the game, but that was nice. That was freaking cool. Um, oh, and uh, regard regarding certain aspects of the game, there are a couple of things I missed that I didn't know about. Um, one of them... Tirtha Kamen uh, Nak, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, or Nath, I mean, uh, on YouTube, the user had told me that very early in the game, you know when you first see that hanged ghost, and then it falls off the rope, and it starts crawling toward you, and you're like, uh, 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 and then nothing comes of it, but it just leaves you really uncomfortable, there was actually an extra scare there that I could have gotten, but I missed, because I guess I wasn't inclined enough to go take the next step for that because it wasn't very obvious to me. So here's a clip of that to make up for Lost, uh, Lost Scare. Yeah, pretty sweet. What I like about that was it wasn't a dun -dun 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 jump scare. You just turn around and it's it's just standing there. You're just like, whoa, this is really in your personal space. Uh, bonus points for the game taking control of your camera, making you go like Whoa, looking into her face because that wasn't me doing that. You notice little black bars on the screen when you lose control of your character. It was just doing that. Um, speaking of losing control of your character, this is a. Uh, no, 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 I'm not going to change the subject just yet. I said there were two things about the game that I missed. One of them I purposefully missed. Um, I think I might have mentioned the cell phone. Um, that was for easy mode only, so you never got any of that during my playthrough. Well, if you play on easy mode, because actually to recapture that ghost scare, I play the game on very easy mode just so I can blaze through it more quickly, and... Periodically, I got like three text messages. When you go through the game, then the, you just hear like a little like ding sound, like that you got a text, press F1, and your cell phone will give you little tips. Like the first thing you get is immediately when you start the game, like the best thing would be to leave. So it's like establishing atmosphere. But one thing that I learned about that I guess makes sense, I just didn't think about, I was like, well, what's the janitor's problem? Uh, the phone will actually tell you the janitor is possessed by ghosts. So. There you go. I was wondering what was up his ass. Well, now we know. A ghost possessed him, or maybe even multiple ghosts. So that's why he's stark raving mad and chasing your ass down. Um, so there's a cell phone bit for you. Cut to clip.
So yeah, quick little thing you can get. Um, speaking of easy mode versus hard mode, this is the thing I was going to come back to. Uh, regarding my ending, you know, I actually tried recapturing the footage where, what if I did save the girl and went to the end of the path? So, you can't save from the labyrinth part to there, so I actually had to redo the labyrinth part. It didn't take so long, but it's just like, ah, you gotta do it. So I got to that part with the disintegrating path, and... I can't freaking do it. it. It disintegrates so quickly behind you. Whenever I'd capture the girl, I'd make it a little bit down the path and just fall. And what sucks is you'll notice when I fell, it said, hey, you want to retry? Which never happened before in the game. It's only this last part. So, yeah, I retried. I, I tried again and I failed. You want to retry? Yes, please, thank you. Failed again. Nope, sorry. Sorry, you can't do it. We don't respect you. <laughs> you fail a third time. Back to the title screen. You gotta reload the game and do the labyrinth part. And I'm like, I'm not doing this. So, I apologize for not being able to show you the ending if you do save the girl. Uh, speaking of the ending itself, you notice the ending was kind of lackluster? Walk away. The ghost is still in the school. Credits. Uh, well, as it turns out, there are five endings in the game. And I got ending number three. So it was the middle of the road ending. So that was the that was it was supposed to be a mediocre ending. I'm actually curious as to what the really bad endings are. I guess this wasn't so bad in that you get to walk away, but on the other hand, your 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 acquaintances I'm not gonna say your friends you don't know them that well, but you get to walk, but your acquaintances are dead and the school's still haunted. Like, eh? if I had saved the girl, I probably would have gotten ending number four. I assume where both of you walk away and the school's still haunted. I don't know. But I was not able to get the, the fifth ending, the best one, uh, the White Christ sent them a mending. I guess I would have had to save the girl and make better decisions with my dialogue options. I don't always know what those would have been, so that's kind of up in the air. Um, now, we're going to be backtracking a little bit. Regarding scares in this game, very well handled, that ceiling monster, for the love of God. And here's one of the big reasons it scared me. It, it actually wasn't so bad a little later. My problem was until I got to the music room where I saw her just chilling in the ceiling and like look the side, just like matching your movements. Like, um, I didn't really see her for what she was. See, here's the thing. Of course, we know now, and you probably even knew the first time because I held that shot. Uh, it was a woman crawling on the ceiling, Spider-Man style, with her hair hanging down to the floor. In the music room, it was such a tall room you could see where her hair stops. That was the trick. I didn't realize this. When I entered the classroom, I wasn't really looking up, because I'm not inclined to do that. I see something in front of me. I'm like, okay, there's a person or whatever. So even though I held the shot to the point where you probably noticed, hey, there's something up there, I wasn't seeing it. What I saw was that her hair actually touched the floor, so I thought that it was just something that was really tall that was standing on the floor. So all I saw was this really tall black like pole or something. And I kind of noticed her arms and legs on the ceiling, but I didn't see it that way. I saw a tall pole, so I see little things coming out of it. It almost looked like a tall hat rack with the little branches to put your hats on. And I'm seeing it and I'm like, I was seeing it, but I wasn't comprehending it. I'm like, look at this tall pole. What is the deal? And all of a sudden it rushes toward me. And I'm like, oh my God. So I leave the room. So what got me was number one, that. But number two, that sound it made, like a like it made the little skittering sound. And what got me about that was, it's a tall black pole with no discernible legs, because I wasn't seeing it as hair. So how is a pole gonna make this little scuttling sound and rush me? That freaked me out. Now let's not even get started with that one time where we're just warped into a room, it just fades in. Crap, what do you do now? That got me really damn good. I'm talking a lot about this game, but this really rocked my world. I am so happy to have discovered this now that it's been translated and just about completely bug fixed. Um, maybe even completely bug fixed. They, they, they did a really, really damn good job with this thing. Again, it's been out for a decade and it's really only been optimized now. Like, it, it, it was optimized as I was, like, like as of like a few weeks ago. The, the, the person's been working on this for quite some time. So overall, really great game. Now some of the um, gameplay mechanics can be a bit irritating, like how to use the menu and everything, or how the AI works, or that goddamn janitor after a time, he just gets vexing instead of 
legitimately scared like he's supposed to be. But this game is absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. I mean, they even... They even, you know how they give you notes about ghosts before you meet them? There was that one note we got toward the beginning of the game. This one ghost is sensitive to sound, and maybe fire. That was the final boss. Like, the, the person who was, uh, setting the building on fire. Turns out she's not sensitive to it because she's wallowing in the stuff, but the thief alarm really pissed her off. It's little things like that that just give so much more flavor to the game, and it's nice to see, like, a little callback. Now, as for the ending of the game, the whole run away from her in that Tron-looking labyrinth, yeah, that wasn't so scary, but... They needed to make a final encounter, so, uh... I mean, bonus points for not being able to fight it. At least you just had to run away, because that kept with the rest of the game's style. That was a pretty nice decision on their part, but the the environment felt a little out of place. But that said, I mean, it all came back to, uh... Like, it, it all came back to you're being in a haunted school. So that was a really, really cool thing. I I, I love this game. This is, this is one of the scariest games I've played, and that's... That's, a, that's quite a statement coming from me, because I've played a lot. A lot on camera and a lot off. So this was a ton of fun. And uh, now, unfortunately, unlike most Let's Plays I do, I cannot show you all the other endings. You might be able to find one or two on YouTube, but I can't find the others. And believe me, I'm not playing the game from scratch to get to those points, especially because of that pain-in-the-ass disintegrating path. I'm not getting the White Christ Anthem ending. Um, well, or at least I'm, I'm not likely to. I'm not beating the game on hard mode, though, because you're not allowed to save. So if I fail the disintegrating path three times, too bad. See, on hard mode, you got to beat the game in under two hours, and you can't save. Screw that. But, um... So if you want to see the other endings... I don't all, I don't often say this. I don't think I've ever said, that, said this. But if you want to see the other endings, you're probably going to have to go find them yourself. The good news is it's really easy for you to do so. I told you I downloaded this game fan translated... Well, you can easily find it too. I forgot if it was called Unnamed Blog or Unnamed Forum, but you can very easily find it there. I'm going to give a link uh, below the video so you can very easily get it. It's just like, here you go. Here's the video with the or here's the here's the game with the patch. Download it. Do as the instructions say. Play it. It's it's seamless. It's even optimized for uh, the full widescreen monitor, so you can play in whatever resolution. It's great. I highly recommend it. So overall, this was a really fun game to play. Really, really goddamn scary. This is a new high bar, and that's, again, high praise coming from me. And so I hope you had as much fun watching it as I did playing it. I wonder if you got as scared watching it as I did playing it. It's a goddamn scary game. Um, as for my next LP, I'm not going to give it away just yet. All I'll say is that, assuming my recording goes through okay... The next thing I play is probably going to satisfy a few requests. It's one of the few games I'm going to play which has actually been requested. I get requests every now and now and then, and I, I mean, I, I always pay attention to these things, but it's like I never get a request and be like, oh, that's going to be the next game I play. This one though actually has been requested a few times, so I think some people are going to be happy to see this one. I'll I'll say that much, but no more. So once again, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, everyone.